This video is a continuation of the geometric dimensioning and tolerancing 7.0. Here we are going to discuss how to interpret the limits of sizes. Note that, terms MMC and LMC are used in this video, if you want to know more about MMC maximum material condition and LMC least material condition. Then don't forget to check out my video on the application of maximum material condition. If you find this video, informative and useful, then do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon, limits of size. Unless otherwise specified, the limits of the size of a feature prescribe the extent within which variations of geometric form, as well as size, are allowed. In this example, we are going to look at the diameter feature with the upper limit as 20.1 and lower limit as 20.0. This control applies solely to individual regular features of size, which is the diameter. The actual local size of an individual feature at each cross-section shall be within the specified tolerance of size, which is it should be within 20.0 and 20.1. First, we are going to discuss the variations of form. The form of an individual regular feature of size is controlled by its limits of size to the extent prescribed as illustrated. You will see this on the drawing, and it allows this form. The surface or surfaces of a regular feature of size shall not extend beyond a boundary envelope of perfect form at MMC. This boundary is the true geometric form represented by the drawing. No variation in form is permitted if the regular feature of size is produced at its MMC limit of size unless a straightness or flatness tolerance is associated with the size dimension or the independency symbol is applied as illustrated. Where the actual local size of a regular feature of size has departed from MMC toward LMC, a local variation in form is allowed, equal to the amount of such departure. And where there is no default requirement for a boundary of perfect form at LMC, Thus, a regular feature of size produced at its LMC limit of size is permitted to vary from true form to the maximum variation allowed by the boundary of perfect form at MMC. In cases where a geometric tolerance is specified to apply at LMC, perfect form at LMC is required. This condition will be discussed in the following videos. When form control does not apply. The control of geometric form prescribed by limits of size does not apply to the following Stock, such as bars, sheets, tubing, structural shapes, and other items produced to established industry or government standards that prescribe limits for straightness, flatness, and other geometric characteristics. Unless geometric tolerances are specified on the drawing of a part made from these items, standards for these items govern the surfaces that remain in the as furnished condition on the finished part. And the parts subject to free state variation in the unrestrained condition. Will be discussed in the following video. Where perfect form at MMC not required. Where perfect form at MMC is not required, the independency symbol may be placed next to the appropriate dimension or notation, as illustrated on the screen. Now let's discuss the limits of size and continuous features of size. The note continuous feature or continuous feature symbol is used to identify a group of two or more features of the size. Where there is a requirement that they are treated geometrically as a single feature of size. When using the continuous feature symbol, extension lines between the features may be shown or omitted. However, extension lines by themselves do not indicate a continuous feature. In this example, you can see that each cross-section of the object lies within the limit of the size. To accept this part, no portion of the continuous feature shall extend outside this envelope. Taking a look at the second example, for continuous features with the internal cylindrical feature, you will find this on the drawing, note that extension lines may be shown or omitted. Also, the diameter can be shown in this way, or it can also be shown in one line as illustrated on the screen. This feature is interpreted as illustrated on the right side of the screen. To accept this part, each cross section shall be within the limit of size, which means, no portion of the continuous feature shall extend inside this envelope of perfect form at MMC. Taking a look at the third example, for continuous features with the external width feature. You will find this feature in the drawing as illustrated on the left side of the screen. 
and this feature is interpreted as illustrated on the right side of the screen. To accept this part, each cross section shall be within the limit of size, which means, no portion of the continuous feature shall extend inside this envelope of perfect form at MMC. With this third example, we come to the end of this video. Hope you found this video informative and useful. Do, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon, to catch more videos on geometric dimensioning and tolerancing. Thank you for watching.